All righty. Well, I sure like having you all with me. I filmed yesterday at Sunnylands and it was beautiful, but the energy in that place is so intense, actually. And it's um, so lonely with just, it's like the phone and two cameramen who are very like that. And um, so anyway, I get distracted by all the hawks and the birds and the pelicans and stuff, but you'll see, you'll be able to see them on um, the Sunnylands website. And today I told some of you, but we're gonna, I'm gonna find out about the tent over here and when we might be doing live classes at Desert Aids Project. We'll do Zoom also, but outside in the tent, it's kind of like a circus tent, it's cute. And has uh, circles for everybody um, on the AstroTurf and it's outside. So three sides open, one side kind of blocked for the wind. Although I kind of think it's the wrong side to block, but it's okay. <laughs> it's nice, it'll be nice. So that if, and then we're still at the convention center till I hear differently um, for the rest of the other classes. Where is the Sunnylands class? The, it's gonna be online. There's nothing live over there. They're basically closed. Just uh, a few people they let, you can make reservations to walk the, the bird hike, but that Sunnylands class will be not till next year, probably, and never the same. You know, I know, so heart sick about it, but that's okay. Here we are, ready to roll. So, um, I don't have much other news other than that was this giant full moon it was very incredible and intense. And here comes December, the end of this creepy year or crappy, however you say it, <laughs> that has all these, actually anything that's positive and good has so much energy this year. Because um, the overriding heaviness and the sadness like that. So everything that has happened that's joyful or happy kids and wonderful connections with people and those things are so special and I'm grateful to all of you for these things and I'm sure you're all, we're all grateful for everybody all around. So I hear somebody breathing. I think it's, oh, hi, Brenda. There you are. I think it's Andrew, you're not muted yet actually. So let's go ahead and head up to the heavens. I don't know if this makes sense, but it seems to be opposite from where our arms usually go gives a good extension of self and work in the energy field. So we contact and then let's rock the pelvis, thrust the chest forward ah, ah, and easy, really try and swing those elbows back behind the body so the wing bones squeeze together. Ah, gosh, and it's good. We can be grateful for how wonderful the weather is. Oh, and we're putting a lending library together down here at the studio outside in the hall, which is accessible if you go through protocol. So if you have any old books, we'll be getting that organized. That you want to trade out with people. That's where I put all my old books when we moved. Rub your hands together. That was two years ago now. Two years ago, we've been here two years. It's amazing. All right, clap, clap, clap. Get warm, take a nice deep inhale. And on the exhale, gently cover up your eyes, straighten your spine, relax your shoulders, settle into your seat, your rootedness, and invite yourself to cultivate an intimate relationship with your breath. Invite yourself to be your breath, to breathe your breath, and to follow your breath to your yoga, the yog. That intimate and special place where you yoke up your body, mind, and spirit, where you make conversation with your body, with your guides, your gods. And invite yourself today, as always, to befriend yourself, 
and to participate in your healing. Let's breathe in and go into happy Buddha. Separate, there's not a cloud in the sky, but separate anything that still is thick over your crown. Self be clear and light and this autumn winter light move out through your energy body and see how you're how you feel today just kind of move through it. it's a little bit thicker than not so thick as your skin ground yourself and gather all that sweetness right into your heart Let's breathe in and lift the arms up overhead. Look way up and then exhale, go wide again through the energy body, land on your knees, press down on your thighs, lift your chest up in front of your ankles, really feel it in your hips starting off and then begin to spin the torso around that pelvic bowl. Make sure you almost fall backwards. That's good, yeah, make sure. All right, lizard legs, and then go the other direction. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. And then easy, come into the center and stretch the arms out, up and overhead. Twine the thumbs, lift up a little more, breathe in a little more, swallow, stretch, contract, absorb. And as you exhale, lift the head up and cantilever out over the edge of your mat. Let your ears be between your upper arms. That's very clever, Andrew. Let your ears be between your upper arms. Anchor your tailbone. Stretch way out, way out. Chest forward, chin is engaged. Don't let that heavy head crimp like an old garden hose. You don't want to crimp the back of your throat. Stretch a little more. Go a little more, Linda. And then easy, inhale and lift up and round back behind the tailbone. Really roll the shoulders forward, open the back of your heart, anchor yourself with your legs, scoop out your belly. Ah. Swing a little side to side to see how the obliques are doing and how that lower back is doing. May the wicked become good, roll your hips. Stack the vertebra, inhale, lift the arms up overhead and exhale the right hand over the ear. No, that's wrong. Right hand down by your knee, left arm is over your ear. Ah. Keep yourself anchored with that left leg. Oh, good. Mm. Feel yourself just kind of massaging the inside, stretching, warming up. It's different now that it's cold. That's nice. And then easy, inhale and lift up. Happy cactus, find yourself long in the neck and spin. Open your arms a little backwards more, Will. Uh -huh, good, swing wildly. Mm, mm, mm. That's good. And then easy to the right side. <whistles> Dive on down, elbows up, crown of the head to the knee. Roll forward on your pelvis so you can torque your torso over your thigh. Drop your head down easy. Good. Stomach is in, remember. It's post Thanksgiving. Mmm, the best stuffing and best cranberry sauce. Easy, Mitty march around, chippa, chippa, chippa. Go beyond your left thigh, lift the spine up, look over your left shoulder, anchor with your right leg. Eyes are wide open, big in the breath. Mm. Feel that ability and mobility of your upper torso spiraling against that stationary pelvis. Eyes open wide into the edge of the sockets, one more breath. 
and easy. Mitchy March back into the center. Shimmy and shake. And sweep the arms out. Oh, God. <laughs> up and overhead. And exhale, humbly sliding down the heart line, dedicating this breath to your body, to the honor, the privilege, and the adventure of housing the spirit in this most sacred of temples. It's always interesting to, it's like taking a freeway off ramp when you find that path where you're in your yoga already. Slide your hands, fix your feet, other side going. It doesn't take long <clears throat> now that this established pattern of attending and being in your yoga class, you know, you get that juicy kind of exciting feed from spirit, arms out, sitting nice and tall, fingertips stretched far away from your shoulders, seven breaths, inhale up, press down on the armpits, <sighs> flatten the belly, really make the ribs work a little, <sighs> Two more. Careful. Good job, Andrew. One more. Hold the arms up overhead. Stretch in a little more breath. Reach. And slide down the heart line. This time we just spread the hands out to the knees. Lift the chest. Stretch forward and spin. Mm. Really go for that back scoop, you know, that scooping out, the tailbone flips forward and that belly is in. And you really feel it in your upper shoulders. So you get the full range of motion. You experiment with your limitations. As they start to warm up, go the other direction. You might find that one side works better than another. One feels it in the hip more than another. Yum. Being underwater, one more. And then into the center, settle in on those two sit bones. Reach the arms out, up and overhead. Twine the thumbs. Inhale a little more. Inhale some more. Hold the breath, swallow and stretch through the side ribs. Swallow so you can absorb. Now sip in through your mouth. Hold that breath, close off your throat, stretch, swallow, absorb, absorb. Sip in, big ribs and exhale, can leave her out. Ah, good job. Don't fall off the cliff now, you might be a little dizzy behind your eyes. Arms are long by the ears, chest is forward. What happened to Leah, are your arms up or down? I can't see your arms. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Get your ears between your upper arms. Put your chest forward more. Reach up by your ears. <whistles> more ears. More. Ah, struggle. <laughs> Breathe. That's nice, Jane. Go further. Chest forward. That's it. And then inhale, lift up. Good job, everybody. Exhale, round back behind your tailbone. Stretch the arms forward. Look over your fingertips. Really feel that spreading of the mountain gates. And then you can swing a little bit side to side. That's good. Then articulate your pelvis. Roll so the sit bones anchor to the earth. Unfold through that lower lumbar, the complaining area. Stretch up through your spine. Reach up, look up. Left hand off by the knee. Lift up and pulse. Good, Andrew, pull that arm a little more forward by the knee. Good. Good, we'll bring that left arm a little more forward so you're reaching on the diagonal. You're reaching for the cranberries. Good, Danny, breathing. <laughs> Can't live that down now. And then easy, rebound up. Happy cactus, nice line. Spin, spin, spin. Let your head go, oh, feels good. Especially if you have 
too much of one thing. So you want to find that range of motion, that freedom in the spin. And then easy, end up back at the left side and dive. <whistles> Elbows up, crown of the head down. Roll a little bit forward on your pelvis so that you can really engage, torque your heart over your thigh. Soften the head to your knee. I wonder where the Seattle people are. Got a bunch of locals here, that's so nice. Walk your hands out a little further. Linda. Yeah. Roll, drop that right shoulder. Uh-huh. And easy Mitchy March, chip, 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 chip. Mitchy March around to the outside of the right thigh. Lift the chest up. Look, you can hold the knee or you can just put your wrist on the upper thigh, lower thigh, and use it like a lever, like a lever. Look over your right shoulder, eyes are wide. Breath is moving the belly. You can feel the massaging of the lower lungs. Two more breaths. One more breath. And then easy, Mitchie march back around into the center. Shimmy and shake, good positions. Sweep the arms forward, out, up and overhead. And humbly, happily, slide down the heart line, dedicating this breath to your mind and to your sweet, radiant, kind and compassionate self. Include that observation and dedication of the breath to your creativity and your curiosity, your urge to serve others, to love all, to align with the divine. We want to focus on the ringing out today, lift the arms up, arc back, roll the hips, fold the knees, an easy windshield wiper. So keep the feet close to the body. Oh, that's a nice thing. Jane, that's a nice thing to sit on. <laughs> Good, get the knees down. Good, lift your chin a little bit, Andrew. That's good. Both knees down to the ground. Good, really swing. That pelvis is amazing. You know, if you surf, if you ride horses, if you wakeboard, you know that spin <laughs> through the lower body. If you dance and spiral and tango, you know that there's that separation. You're gonna end up at the right side. You're gonna pulse that right, that left thigh up, up, lengthening the quadricep, that strong muscle in the body that helps you jump. Oh, hello. <laughs> I love it when the dogs like a particular. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. And then the left leg goes up. I mean, the left thigh goes up. Spin around. Ah, turn that lower right hand to the back. Lift your hips off the ground. Really give yourself a little rise. Press down on the right hand. Reach, stretching the thighs then lowering the thighs and then stretch out that left leg. So you get even more, more twist, more length, more torque. Keep the chest pulling away from the pubic bone and the crest of your hips. Oh, today's today. Good, inhale, lift the arm up. And that made no sense to you, but to me it was fine. We're gonna roll over. <laughs> you're gonna put your left hand down. We can now, since you're not on the cement, we can roll into pigeon pose. You're gonna roll over onto the top of your left foot and thigh and knee. Bring your hands to underneath the shoulders. Take a nice deep breath, look up, and then roll on down. See if you can relax into that right hip. Ideally, which is impossible for me, but ideally your right shin bone is parallel to the top of your mat. And you roll the hips all the way over. Oh, and you can lean on your forearms to help support. You can surrender into that right hip. And of course you breathe.
and then easy. Go ahead and press down on the ground. Walk your hands back towards your shin. Bring the right hand on the ground inside your right knee. Take your left hand up and spin it around. See if you can grab your back foot. Grab your back ankle. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Drop that hip down more, Linda. Yeah, really roll up on top of that thigh. Are you cramping? <laughs> oh, hello. That's good, Andrew. Lift your chin now. Lift your chest. Breathe. Come on, Danny. You got it. Good job. Yay, wakeboard. Breathe. <laughs> and then release and lower back onto your uh, rump. Release the leg. Take your hands back behind you. Let your knees rest against each other. Regroup for a minute. Regroup. Regroup. I see cramping. It has definite things to do with the fact that the humidity is single digits. And so what happens is the body dries out without having any electrolytes or salt or extra water or potassium. Spin the knees side to side. Let both knees drop to the ground all the way. Let that both knees go all the way down. Good. Both knees all the way down. That's good. Go down on that side, Danny. Good. And then easy. Back into the center and pulse both knees to the left. Bring your hands a little closer to your body so you can lift up. Lift up. Feel yourself stretching that thigh. Get the knee down, Danny. That right. Uh-huh. And then lift your rump up. And the knee down. <laughs> and then drop down and pulse that right thigh. Did you go up, Will? Lift your chin a little, Will. Pulse that right thigh. Oh, yeah, the outside of your knee? Be careful with yourselves, kids. And then here we go. We're going to pulse that knee. Just spin that right arm around. Turn the left hand, that back hand, away from your body. Spin all the way and look over your left shoulder. Eyes are wide open. Really, you can stretch up. Stretch up and feel the length of your thigh. Feel the length of your thigh all the way from your armpit and your upper dingle dangle. And then roll down and stretch that right leg away from you. Good, lift your chest a little. Bring your back arm closer to your body, Will. Your left, yeah, bring your left hand closer to your body so you can lift your chest a little more. Good, spin it. How is that? Feel it right here, yes, spin. Reach, eyes open wide. And then the right arm comes up and we can sweep around, catch ourselves as we roll up onto the top of the right knee, the top of the right foot, the top of the right thigh. Support yourself through your fingertips so you can find yourself in that place of surrender where you drop down and just cry. That's why you don't eat before yoga because this release, this surrender, this stretch, this trust in your left tendons and ligaments is something extraordinary. Try and bow down and relax. So this is that mantra, I am healthy in body and mind. Walk your hands back. So we can be grateful for that, right? Lift your chest up, roll the shoulder. And easy, you can bring the left hand inside the left knee and go ahead and see if you can lift up that back ankle. Good job, lift your chest now. Push the foot in the hand. Good job. Give yourself some length, some ability. Oh, breathe in, breathe out. And release 
and roll back onto your back. I mean, no, roll back onto your rump. Bring your knees into your chest. Drop your eye sockets to your kneecaps. And then stretch your legs out, easy. Pull your bottom back behind you. Oh, I'm so stiff. Lift your arms up and bend over. Bounce the knees, squeeze the toes, rock a little bit side to side. Forward bend, that position of the witness, the position where you invite yourself, invite yourself to Be curious about what's happening. How's the body going? <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. Forward bend. Surrender the back of your legs to the earth. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Slide the hands so the fingertips come back by the calves. Lift the chest, roll the shoulders, push the heels, pull the toes towards your nose, pull the little chest forward. Are you sitting on your pillow, Will? Sit on something that gives good. Go a little further, Lee. Walk your hands forward. Just this, there's nothing stagnant about what's happening. You know, it's, we continue to breathe into the areas of the body that give us resistance. We breathe into the marrow of the bones. We breathe in to allow ourselves to become more buoyant and more spacious, especially where there's aggravation or a need for extra healing. Trying to keep ourselves in a good shape, as it were. Point your toes now. Keep clawing your chest out towards your knees. Keep that midline of your legs strong and organized. Keep the space in your belly so that as you breathe, you keep looking over the tips of your toes, squeeze the midline, pull the outer hips in, anchor the inner knees, the calves, the ankle bones. Point the toes. What are you thinking about, Andrew? <laughs> thinking about something else. And then push the heels. Oh. Push the heels, that's it. Breathe into the back of the knees. Claw yourself a little further forward. Exhale, drop your nose down towards your knees. You can grab onto your calves or just let your elbows get heavy. Just kind of fold in on yourself and just go, what the heck is wrong with the cooked spaghetti in my back of my legs? And then easy, walk your hands on back. And let's inhale and lift up. Bow down, exhale, undulate the spine. Inhale, reach up, lifting the chest, exhaling, bowing down, letting the spine stack the lower vertebra, the mid back up to the cervical, exhale, bow down. Three more, inhale, lift up and bow down. Inhale. Oh, beautiful. Once more. Inhale and fold. And inhale. Lift your arms up overhead. Drop by the side. Open the feet up. Jump up into happy cactus. No, that's not right at all. Picnic table. Outside dining. Parquet. Knees out over the top of the feet. Flat where your thighs reach into the pelvis. Shake your money maker. Open and close your jaw. Right leg in and up. Move the foot around on the ankle. Lower down, left leg up. Roll it around. Other direction. Make sure you loosen up the bones. Lower down, strong arms, strong legs, strong feet. <sighs> Breathe in. One more, breathe out, good, reach, good job. Inhale, head up, buns down. Good, how's your wrist, Dana? Come see, come saw with lots of support. Grab your thighs, how's your shoulder, Andrew? Okay, be careful with it, you know. 
Stretch the spine, tuck in, prancing. That's good. Keep the thighs next to your waist or your ribs. Prancing, 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 and then both legs parallel to the earth, toes towards the nose, knees pressed together, rib cage against the thighs. Squeeze your wing bones and add the action in your root. Add that action in your mula bandha. Squeeze, bind, control yourself. And then easy, stretch the legs up, look over your toes. You can hold the thighs, that's just fine. Otherwise you can let the arms go. Stretch the legs, hold the thighs and try and, good job. Good job, yes. Now let go of the arms a little bit. Give it a go, Linda, that's good. Lift your chest up, look over your toes. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeeze your chikimula. One, two, three, and up. Out and over. Rock your bottom a little side to side. How is it, Brenda? Rock a little bit, Danny, to loosen up your butt. <laughs> your boons. Are you rocking, Will? And then walk your hands back on in. Put your little pillow behind your bottom. Sit back slightly. Pull the knees in. Fish hook the big toes. Really pile something behind your lower back so that you're like leaning against the side of the arroyo or a berm. Right leg goes up and swing it open and closed. Careful, Jane. This could give you the crimp. Good. And then pull the leg straight forward, lift your chest up, shoulder down, push through the heel. Keep stretching, keep pulling, and then slide the thigh back behind your ribs, lift the chest up. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Excellent, long spine, little bit of action in the chikimula, and then lower the head. <laughs> foot down. I'm yelling by myself in the studio. <laughs> Lift your left leg up, roll your shoulder down. It's so uh, interesting. Open and close. Oh, stiff. It's good. Keep breathing, keep circulating, keep getting the fire going. Breathe in, breathe out. And then easy, bring the legs, sit up with your ribs towards the thigh, push the heel, drop the elbow, lift the leg high, look over the toes. Good job. Long spine, roll forward on your sits bone a little bit. And then slide that thigh back behind your ribs. Good job. Breathing. Grab the other one, both legs. Happy seated baby. Good. Shoulders down. Now squeeze the wing bones towards each other. Action in your root. Get your root chakra, your mula bandha, that root lock. It's actually a bind, but get it organized so that you can keep all that juice flowing up the spine. Now open the legs, push the heels, lift the chin, lift the chest, drive down in the armpits. Drive down in the armpits. That's good. Now let go. Flying starfish. Good job. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. Right away, Linda. Arriba. Don't give up. We'll wait for you. Go ahead. And grab your toes again. Ah, Legs back together out in the front. Arms by the side. And lift up. One, two, three. Touch the toes, one, two, three, up, out, ah, over, drop your head, fold in, relax. Ah, it's a cheap thrill, right? It's all about the effort you put into it and the circulation 
of that force, that light, that energy, the blood, the fluids in the body, you get excited. The body is excited to be fed, to be cared for. Mentally, we have challenges where our resistance and our coordination maybe aren't what we expect, but that's easy. Walk your hands back, roll up and down on your spine, and then eventually, if, if you like to do that, if you don't like to roll, don't roll. I don't really roll, but you can roll down on the back and just give yourself a chance to get your back Relax for a minute. Actually, you could maybe hold the knees and spin around. You've been seated at an angle for a long time. Roll the knees in the other direction. Again, we allow ourselves to surrender to the support of gravity and the mother. Breathe easy. Synovial fluid, we want the legs and the knees and the ankles, shoulders, neck. Squeeze your toes, easy. And then roll either up and down the spine or you can roll to the side, press up and end up in child's pose. So we're gonna go into child's pose with the knees open and the big toes touching. Uh-huh. And as you walk yourself out there, it's an adventure. Drop down, let your forehead rest with the mother. Bow down, stretch your armpits, reach your tail back towards your heels. Let the breath expand the side lungs. Side rib cage working beautiful. Encourage that different flow of the energy in your body. Breathing beautiful. Softening your gut, soften your inner thighs. Relax, cerebral spinal fluid moving up towards the pineal gland, the center of the brain. Your life force circulating. Your chi, your kundalini, the warmth, the fire, the brightness. Spread your fingers and lift up your palms and your wrists and your elbows and shimmy and shake. And then lay the hands down with awareness so that you really root into the earth, hinge up onto all fours, bring the knees into parallel and the old cat and cow or the old saggy lower back horse. Articulate the spine, sorry. Really let the tailbone flip towards the earth and press the earth away and then flip the tailbone up to the sky. Ah. Feeling, you can even kind of sit back and sit forward and wag your tail and play with the range of motion, play with the ability where it's crimpy or creepy. So find your fingers nice and organized, the thumb towards each other, the forefinger and the fingertips into the ground. Activate the midline of your arms, roll the shoulders, sit back on your heels and just press for a moment the heels of your hands, drop the elbows and open up your toes, yes or no? Yes, toes. And then up onto all fours, easy. Hinge up into downward facing dog. Heels high, bottom high. Pedal the heels so you pulse your chest back towards your thighs. Breathing, lengthening the Achilles, opening up the calf muscle, the back of your knees. 
chest is pulsing towards the thighs. And then easy, we're gonna go right ahead and inhale into plank. Inhale into plank. Now articulate your arms. Anything touching the earth is engaged. You feel confident in how strong you are. Press on the fingertips, belly to the backbone. Four more breaths, one, two, three. Beautiful, four, bottom a little lower. Now easy side plank if you wish, or drop your right knee, or you bring your right hand underneath your chest and you roll off to the side and stack the feet. That's good, lift your chest, that's good. Thrust your hips forward a little bit, Lee. That's good, a little higher, that's good, Jane. There you go, squeeze the buns, beautiful. And back onto plank. And easy, either you drop the left knee and open up the body, or you take the left hand underneath the chest, you roll to the side, stack your feet. <sighs> breathing in, breathing out, hips high. And then back into plank and easy, knees down. Look at your thumbs, drop your bosoms to your thumbs, your chin in front of the fingers, elbows in, buns up. <sighs> Decompress your gut. Slide the legs on back, flatten the feet, slide your forearms forward, look up. <sighs> Breathing. Shoulders back, chest forward, strong and proud sphinx. You can move your jaw around a little bit. You can ah, stick your tongue out if you wish to release the skull plates. Ah, really stretching the ribs away from the pubic bone. Look over your shoulder towards your left heel. Look over the right shoulder, right heel. Rock your hips and roll on down. Hands underneath the shoulders, we're going to hinge into picnic table. Elbows are in, hinge up gracefully and stick your right leg back behind you. Toes facing the ground. Oops, sorry. Right leg, back, toes facing the ground. And easy exhale, bring the knee to your nose and stretch the leg back and bring the knee to your nose, hinging the body. Noticing the range of motion, twice more. Use your stomach, once more. And this next time we're gonna try and step forward between the hands. So you're gonna try and drag that right foot forward between the hands. Good, and then scoochie that left leg back a little bit and flatten the left foot. Put your hands by your side and lift up. Drop the hips. If you feel in the mood and you feel secure in your open stretch, press on your right foot and press on your right thigh with both hands, lift your chest up. And then sweep your left arm up, sweep your right arm up, look up and slide on down. Take your right hand and push your knee in and twist with your left arm to the outside of your thigh and then press your palms together. Again, creating that ringing effect through your torso. You can curl the back toes under and lift the back knee, press strongly on the front foot and slide your thumbs towards your heart. You're on your own, I can't see you. Breathe in, breathe out. And then softly lower the knee down, release the hands to either side of the front foot. Good job, breathe in, breathe out. Curl the back toes and sit back towards your heel. Let your front toes come up to your nose. Good job. Good breathing. Danny, the right foot's forward, all the way between your hands. Grab it. That's it, exactly and then sit back towards your buns and pretend you wanna kiss your big toe, this toe. 
Both hands on either side. That's good. Stretching, what happened? Where are you stretching? <laughs> Pull your bottom back towards your heel, good. And then easy, stretch forward. Bring your hands in line with the toes, lift up your back, heel, no, knee. Lift your buns high and step into plank. Good job. Buns down, knees down, chest down, slide forward. Inhale into up dog, lift up. And then hinge back into all fours. Breathe. Good job. And then easy. Right leg's gonna go back and lift up parallel to the earth. Come back up on all fours, Danny. Stretch it up. Good, and then just simply, this is a good one for you. Use your lower belly and round your back. Bring your knee to your nose. Stretch the leg out, bring the knee to the nose. And three, round that. And two more, four. And five, and look between your hands. See if you can step forward with your right leg. Otherwise you can drag that foot forward between the hands. That's it. And find yourself in a good placement. Safety first. The knee is over the top of the foot. Mm -hmm. Hands are parallel or in the same line as your toe tips. Drop, you could scoot to the back knee and drop your pelvis, lift your chest, stretch your thigh again. Same place you've been there before. Now, I forgot to tell you on the other side, you're welcome to curl the back toe under if you wish. Hold on to the front thigh, sweep the heart up. Breathing, lift the left arm up, lift the right arm up. Is this the same side? And then, yes, no? Okay, slide on down. <laughs> Take both arms to the outside of your front thigh. Good job. And if you're in the mood, go ahead. That's good and lift up the back knee. What happened, Janie? Catch it. Try and squeeze the outer hips together. Put actually squeeze the outer hips together. That will keep you in the balance. That's good. Oh, good job. Great, everybody. And then easy. We come down, hands by the toes, lower the back knee softly, gently. Fingers by the toes, sit back. Should be your left foot leg is working. That's what I find. There you go. You all right, Brenda? Okay. Breathing. Pull those toes towards your nose. Really suffer a little bit. Because this isn't a power or an active move, you can make do with the edge. You can breathe into the edge. You can sit and really talk to the back of that calf. Talk to that back hip. Talk to the stretch of your hamstring. Breathe in, toes to the nose. And hinge forward, easy. Lift your chest up. Lift the back knee up. Lift the bottom up. Step back to plank. Might as well get a little bit sore. How about 10 breaths? Let's drop into half plank and do 20 breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Half plank. That'll be about 40 seconds. So we haven't been, we have to be attentive to the central core. It's getting a lot of action these days. Besides the fingers on the computer, the chewing, the swallowing, and then that nice bowl of the belly. Six more breaths. One, 
two, three. Don't give up. Squeeze the body. Relax your shoulders. Two, one. And easy. Drop down. Go ahead and let the heels drop out. Turn the arms. Turn the head. Ah, relax to the earth. Surrender to the earth. Beating of your heart. Quality of your breath. Softness of your throat. That humble surrender to the earth. Knowing she supports us. Change your hands, turn your head the other way. And then easy, bring the legs together, bring the arms around. Let's go ahead, hand offside the body with spider fingers, offside the shoulders. Lift the chest up. <sighs> Roll the shoulders down. Stretch and open the front body. And roll on down. Hands underneath the shoulders. Go ahead, through, hinge through, picnic table. Cross your ankles and sit back and roll down onto your backs. Good job. Roll down onto the backs. Be easy with yourself. Cold calm. <laughs> Good, and tuck your knees into your chest. Oh, I see a empty mat. I've gone off to the hither to grab your knees, roll the knees in the circle. Again, notice the difference between on your back and on your stomach with the earth. Reverse the knees spin. And easy. Tuck the knees in close to the chest. Drop the, uh, hold the left knee in at your chest. Stretch the right leg up to the sky. Move the foot around. And then go ahead and shoot that right foot, that right heel. Stretch the leg straight, long and far away from the body. Hold the left knee at the chest. Right leg is reaching far out of the hip socket. And now easy inhale and lift your head as you turn your head to the left. And let your left arm go out at shoulder level. We're gonna move with the breath into a spinal twist. You're gonna exhale and pull your left knee across the body. I want you to shut us. Uh, Swing that lower hip pad backwards so you can get the knee all the way down. That left arm can come up to your eyes or you can hold the left arm on your waist. Or if you're super flexible through the upper torso, it can reach out away flat on the ground. But keep the knee down. We're trying to realign that lower pelvis from the continuing this idea of twisting and wringing, breathing long, loosening the jaw. Mm. Now lift that arm up, that left arm up a little bit so it's angled off your shoulder and fold it in on your eyes and open up your armpits, three breaths. One more. And then easy, lower back onto your backs. Bend both knees, keep the feet parallel and bounce the pelvis down on the ground. Get that sacrum to really any stagnation, any of that crystallization, calcification, that tightness through the sacrum, you know, our seatedness and rootedness but it's a compression, so we want to shift it out. 
arms are out in a T. Oh, sorry. Pull the knees into the chest. Sorry. Wrap your arms around your shins and hold the right leg and lift your left leg up to the sky. Trace the face of the analog clock with your toe. And then easy, push the heels, straighten that left leg and Elongate that left leg as it reaches out and away from your torso all the way until the heel touches the ground. Keep the thigh up at the rib cage. Reach through the heel. Feel that stretching through the body. And then easy, lift your head. and turn it to the right. Let your right arm go out at shoulder level. Take a nice deep breath and pull that right knee. Keep it above your waist. Pull it across the body till you roll onto the hip pad and let the knee drop to the ground. Scoot so you're comfortable and not pinching anything. That right arm can come easy. It can circle. It can hold on to your rump, your waist, your forehead. Keep dropping that right shoulder away from the right knee. Keep increasing that spin in your body. Keep massaging the liver with your breath. Keep the blood flow oxygenated, spirited, healthy. And now easy, take that right arm and Angle it, either let it be resting on your eyes, the hand, and lift the elbow away from the knee so that you open up in the armpit, in the side ribs, in the lymphatics. Breathing. And then easy, go ahead and roll back onto your back. Realign your hips and shoulders, tuck your knees into the chest and drop the feet onto the ground, bounce the hips. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> That's what that old laughing yoga used to be. Drop your knees into your chest, hold the outside feet, go into happy baby. This is the reclining happy baby. So if you've ever had a happy baby, you know it's kind of a dangerous position. But hold your outside feet. Massage your kidneys, roll side to side. Keep the knees in at your armpits. Soles of your feet to the sky. And then go ahead and take your hands inside your calves or you can hold onto the toes and open the legs out into a gigantic Y or a big V. Open up that rebar, that connecting adductor and abductors, the adductors that work inside, keeping the legs connected to the pelvis. You can always move your feet around, squiggle your toes, make sure you have full body circulation. And then easy, push the hands outside the calves and pull the legs together. Drop the knees into your chest. Drop the feet onto the floor. Make little fists. Swipe your arms by your body. Lift your buns up. Rest on your little fists. Knees to the chest. Safe L-shaped inversion. Always you're welcome to extend the inversion if you're comfortable in shoulder stands. But take the time to feed yourself from the heavenly cosmos, that full moon, that big, crazy energy up there. Open the soles of the feet. Reverse that flow of the waterfall of your internal body. 70% fluids. Release the valves. They're always trying to pump that energy up, fighting gravity. So give it a chance to that internal waterfall to feed your digestion, 
decompress the lower back, feed your complexion, feed your brain, ankle bones together, knees together, soles of the feet to the sky. Straighten the back of the knees a little more. Good. Breathing. And easy. Go ahead and bend the knees into the chest. If you're in shoulder stand, slowly roll out with control. The rest of us drop the feet onto the ground, lift our bottoms up and release the hands. Shake them out, work them around a little bit. Flushing. You know, this body is made of this incredible outward and inward flushing. Arms by the side, palms are down, elbows grip the rib cage. Slide the legs out and pop the heart to the heavens. Drop the crown of your head to the earth. Push the heels awake. Remain engaged with your legs. Roll your shoulders carefully, Andrew. Lift your heart up towards the heavens. Expose your viscera. Activate that yearning for conscious contact, for protection, for valiant and radiance. Open up your ribs away from your pubic bone. Stretch the legs. <sighs> Open your throat. Viscera exposed. Bring the, bring the brightness into the shadows. Inhale, lift the head up. Easy. Lay down on the ground. Wrap your arms around your knees. Rock a little bit side to side. Stretch the legs out, arms out. 30 breaths. Lift the head. You can hold the head if you wish. Ideally, your legs would be six inches off the ground and you just suffer. Let's see what you can do to control the breath. You can hold your head, open the elbows. Breathe in, breathe out. You've already got 10 down. We're going to go at least for 30. Kalababati breathing. Belly button snapping to the backbone. 10 more. Squeeze everything. Squeeze. And easy. Exhale. Stretch the legs out wide. Stretch the arms out wide. Release the body. Relax the body onto the earth. Take a nice deep breath and slide softly. Breathe easy, heavy eyes. Large muscles drop from the bones. Breathe in, breathe out. Take that ride. Ride the pulse. Ride that flow of energy in your body. Be easy. Stay in that time of year where we're grateful. We're grateful for so much the opportunity to illuminate our gratitude, to actually put a voice to it or an identity. We begin to gather in our power, our brilliance. We feed that confidence, that willingness to forgive quickly, our finer qualities, our urge to serve. I'm grateful to so many of you that take care of 
me and us. I'm grateful for your friendship. Soften your skin. Remember that sweet honey of the honeybees surrounds you. Release the aggravation. Your face is smooth, your lips are plump. Just allow yourself that experience of the void, that position of the witness. If you wish to finish off class, go easy. Let your breath move into the navel point. The breath will reconnect you with your vessel. Easy breathing, letting the breath expand and get a little deeper. Move out into your fingers and your toes. Slide your fingertips across your, your thumbs across your fingertips. Reconnect the nervous system, exhale, let the hands come to the heart. Mm -hmm. Gather in all the joy and the abundance and the gratitude and the grace. Thank yourself. Easy lace the fingers, twine the fingers, roll the arms so the palms stretch up and overhead away from your crown. Step the straight legs together and point the toes and push the heels and wiggle. <laughs> wiggle your hips, flutter your eyelashes. Move your mouth around, inhale and exhale, tuck your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug. And staying in this time of gratitude and grace, you know, you're more than welcome to roll to the side you wish, but you can roll left with that relationship to this big moon, this December moon. Press yourself up to a seated position that's comfortable for you. Sit softly with the smooth brow and the plump lips. Acknowledge the seatedness and rootedness of self. And then easy stretching the arms out from the wing bones, reaching through the fingertips as far as you can from your body. Just move through that wonderful field of energy. Cup the palms together, the hands together, open up to your chalice, spread out those fingers like the petals of the lotus blossom. Find yourself in the full lotus mudra or your cup or your chalice slides down your heart line, receiving all that energy from the cosmos. Exhaling the fingertips together, finding the palms cupped around a precious flower blossom. This ancient and sacred greeting, we find ourselves 
Also on World AIDS Day, we find ourselves in this humble and grateful and traditional honoring and bowing to the sparkling divine light within ourselves and others. We thank ourselves for being present and a part of. We know the sameness of our breath and the sameness of our blood and that rhythm of our hearts. Thank you for being part of this urban yoga family. Thank yourselves for being part of this yoga today. Namaste. I love you so much. Thank you so much.